Well, good morning. Welcome back to another 5 of 10. Praise God. We're glad to have you with us. Pray that you're being blessed by these. We're blessed to be able to bring them to you. We're praying that they're helping you each and every day. If they are, just shoot us a little message. Let us know that, hey, man, these are really helping. We really appreciate it. Um, they're good for us. Not that I need the appreciation. Just want to make sure that we're ministering to your needs. Amen. Well, listen, I want to continue with say what? Be careful how you hear. We talked about that last time. But this time I want to talk about some of the influences on how you hear. And I want to get right to the Bible today because we know that how we hear is very important in how we act. Amen? So here are some things that influence how we hear. What's in your heart? Here's what Proverbs 17.20 says. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good. And he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. Now, next time we're going to talk about what we say in the power of our words. But this time, how we hear. Sometimes what you hear is tainted by what's in your heart. If you're aggravated with somebody, it's almost like there's nothing that they can say that's right. Now, come on now. You know that you've all been there. Amen. Me too. Amen. So what's in your heart? That influences how you hear. If your heart attitude is deceitful or vindictive or wrong, you're not going to hear properly. It affects your attitude and it affects your view of the truth. Amen. Let's go to Luke 6.45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And the evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And we're going to talk about that next week. Your attitude about the subject that you are hearing changes how you hear that. And so we have to be very careful. Now, what else? Here's another influence of how you hear. Your view of the truth. Your view of what you believe is true influences how you hear. Somebody could tell you something that's absolutely the truth. And if you don't agree with that truth, you don't hear it properly. So what do we, we know that our truth comes from where? It has to come from the Word of God. There is many truths out there today. Everybody's got their own truth. But there's only one true truth. And everything's got to be based on the Word of God. See, what you believe or what you want to believe is truth, is truth to you. What we perceive as truth will affect how we hear. And so if the Lord's speaking to you and saying, listen, I need you to go this direction, or I want you to change this, or you need to correct that based on the word of God, and you say, well, I guess just don't see it that way. Your heart attitude or the way you perceive truth, I don't think that that's true, changes how you hear things. Amen? Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Acknowledge his ways, not your own. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Not only true truth is his word, the only true truth, excuse me, is his word. Not our own ideas, not our own opinions. Our heart attitudes, um, of what, how we think, what we believe is truth all affects how we hear. And we cannot afford to not be hearing correctly and properly in the hour we're living. There's many voices and none without significance. Many people are listening to the wrong voice and they're not hearing clearly. We need to be careful that we are hearing properly and, cl and clearly. And those are just a few things. Maybe you've fallen into that trap. Simple thing, Lord, forgive me, help me to hear clearly, get into the word of God, listen to the voice of God, and he'll direct your paths. Amen. God bless you. Pray this helped you today. Maybe it was a correction for you. If so, just ask God to forgive you and move on. Amen. Hey, keep, keep the faith. Keep continuing to walk in faith over fear. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.